Hey everyone, Technomancer here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the Acer Aspire 3 14 inch laptop. Now, this one is in pure silver, basically, the silver version of it. Now, as you can see here, some of the things that comes with this laptop by default you have Windows 11 in S mode, uh, Intel Core i3, that's the N305, it's a 14 inch. FHD Acer Comfrey View LED LCD and the graphic card as you can see is from Intel UHD graphic it has 8 gigs of RAM 128 gig of SSD and the price of this one was around 209 I was able to get this one at uh, which was for it discounted so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this for you guys Acer stuff information here. Let's see what else we have in this box. So we have basically the charger cable and adapter here. We also get this nice privacy webcam cover, I believe, on top to install. So we're gonna try to install that as well. So put that aside. And the actual so in the bottom here you're gonna get the menu instruction menu and then these things that hold it in place and then this thing not really sure what that is and then the actual laptop comes in this in the nice kind of cover paper cover and here is the laptop so I'm gonna put the box aside As I mentioned, this is the uh, the silver one. It's called Pure Silver Aspire. And then take a look. This is only 14 inch. Not too heavy, pretty light for this one. You can see here the ventilation. And then the side here. And then let's take a look at this side. So these are the buttons available and the bottom fan. And then this at this angle. And then this angle as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. So there it is at angle. So let's take this off. And just to give you an idea, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and charge it first. Just basically, I'm going to put this adapter in here. And then connect this to the outlet and the charging cable. The charger looks like this. It's more and more so pin shape. And I believe it goes on this side. See here. Right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect it to a power outlet. So I plugged it into a charger here. I'm going to go ahead and power it on by holding down this power button right here. So it is powering on for me right now. It looks like the initial power off does take a time, but keep in mind this is the very first time we're setting it up. So it's probably normal for it to take time as it's being set up here. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we have First thing you want to select is, of course, your little, your country or region. I'm going to leave it as this. Click on yes. So there's a touchpad, yes. And then here you're going to select the keyboard. So I'm going to leave it as yes, the US one. You can add, it looks like a second keyboard layout, uh, but I'm going to skip that. And then let's connect to all Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Wi-Fi here to connect to. So go ahead and select your Wi-Fi, and then hit connect, and then I'm going to enter my password right now. Now once you enter your password, you're going to hit next here. So let's go ahead and connect to the internet. So it's connected to the internet. So I'm going to hit next here. All right, so, so your PC will restart before you continue, so we'll see what it does. 
And during this process, I'm keeping it connected to the charger because it's the very first time, which is really a good thing to do, especially when you're setting up very first time. The battery might not have enough charge, so let us do its thing. Uh, so next thing we get is reviewing the license agreement. I'm just going to hit accept here. So here now if you wanted to go ahead and sign in to um, unlock your Microsoft experience, you can see here it's assigned it to a Microsoft account or and create the experience. So you can do that if you like to use the suite here now you can as you can see here you have if you can sign into existing one if you have one or create one here so either one you can do here so let's go ahead and do this now create one and here you can get a new email address um, or create one if you have an email address already. So you want to go follow this step and do it. I'm going to go ahead and create one. Of course, use your own email. Don't use what I'm using as this is mine. Uh, and then you're going to enter create a password for your account that you're going to use. So I'm going to do that now. Now we're going to hit next after you enter your password. And here you're going to put your name here so I'm gonna go ahead and put my name and then you're gonna select your date of birth here so go ahead and select your date of birth so I'm just gonna make up one right now then you're gonna hit next and then you're gonna get an email to a code to your email if you're using that basically you want to go ahead and put that code to verify your email here so I'm just gonna do that and if you like information tips and offer about it you can have this or not have this doesn't matter and then I'm gonna hit next and you can always skip for now as well so as you can see here setting me up right now and now this is an important part so if you are restoring from another PC to this one you can use this to restore your data or you can set up new I'm gonna select that as new just to make it easier hit next um, and then if you want to create a pin that gives you a faster to sign on so I'm gonna create pin here so that you can be secure so I'm just gonna put just a basic pin here once you enter your pin let's go ahead and create a pin now and then basically if you want the location access find my device all this options here that you would like for your privacy and security you can read through it I'm just gonna hit accept here just to make it easy and then you can see here you can put the info here so I'm gonna go ahead next and then you can uh, register this and all this stuff um, that comes with the product I'm just gonna leave it as default and then you can specify why you're using this um, laptop school business gaming whatever it is entertainment uh, whatever it is so you can accept or you can skip this doesn't matter and then use your phone you can respond to texts and calls using an Android phone or a PC if you like to set up your phone so you can link with it I'm not gonna link my phone with it but it's a cool way to interact let's skip this part And then if you want to back up your phone's photo to keep them safe, you can use this QR code. I'm going to skip this. 
and then always have access to your recent browsing if you want to use this option you can accept I'm just not going to but of course you might want to do that um, here is a one month of free then hundred dollars a month uh, I'm just gonna decline this right now since I don't want to or you could do this one as well 99 cents for 100 gig of cloud storage and then these are services that can that are offered for you for free you can read through them so I'm gonna hit next here I used to a fan um, you're gonna hear the fan with this right now and this could be because it's initial setup as you can see your updates in progress this could take a while please keep your PC on and plugged in so you want to plug in as it's doing the first update so a quick update it took about probably a good 20 minutes or so to complete those updates and now I got a message that's saying it's restarting the computer so it's going through it again as you can see here so we're just gonna keep the computer on let it do its thing looks like another update here Finally, as you can see here, we are able to get to this menu here. And then if you press any button, it's going to prompt you for that pin code that we created. So I'm going to go enter that pin code. Once I enter that, it's logging me in here for the very first time. So you can just say hi here. And things are ready for you. So we're going to wait to see what happens here. All right, so it looks like another few minutes here, so let's see how long this takes. This is almost there. Alrighty, so looks like we are logged in. Finally, it's turned on, ready to go. You can see here the apps. We can probably close that out. And once you close it out, this is how it's going to look like a Microsoft Edge for browsing. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to going to bring your data over. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to hit confirm. And then we can start going on to the internet and start browsing just like that. The different modes available just like you would. Other apps as well. You can see here you can access all of this. So this is how it looks again. We'll see how well this does. I'm going to do tons of tutorials, tips, and tricks for this laptop and other laptops as well as we're going to review in our channel. So if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, consider doing that. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and useful. We'll see you guys next time.